In this problem, we're going to be dealing with some series. So first off, we have to write this one in summation notation. Well, what I notice is that this looks to be geometric, but I'm going to check. And the way you check is by dividing uh, successive terms. So negative 10 over 2 is negative 5. 50 over negative 10 is negative 5. Let's go to the last one. 3,000... 31,250 over negative 6,250 is also negative 5. So what I'm finding is I have a common ratio of negative 5. So I can find the general term a sub n by just plugging in my first term 2 times negative 5 to the n minus 1. Right? The reason I wanted my general term is I can use this now to figure out what this thing should look like in summation notation. So in summation notation, this is going to be 2 times negative 5 to the n minus 1 from n equals 1, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be written this way, so it might be a variation of this because as you can see I don't have exactly what I have here in any of my selections. Well what we have is an alternating series so a lot of times with alternating series the alternating piece is written separate from the base so what I can do is I can actually rewrite that I can separate out negative 1 to the n minus 1 and 5 to the n minus 1 uh, by properties of exponents, these are the exact same. And I can rewrite this so it's n equals 1 to 7 of 2 times negative 1 to the n minus 1, 5 to the n minus 1. And so those are the exact same as what I wrote before, and that actually matches up much better with letter A. The other way you could do it is actually just take it and write out the terms. Plug in 1, find your term. Plug in 2, find your term. Plug in 3, find your term. You'll see real quick which one matches and which doesn't. In the second one, we're going to find out which sequence is arithmetic. So arithmetic means you have a common difference or that it's linear. That means it goes up by the same amount each time. So up by 3, up by 5, up by 7 does not work. Up by 2, up by 2, up by 2. That is definitely arithmetic. Let's look at the rest. 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth. That would not have a common difference. Nor does it have a common ratio. A and B, C are also not geometric. In D, 2 goes up by 6, goes up by a lot more than 6. So this one, we have a common ratio. It's being multiplied by 4 each time. So this would be geometric, but not arithmetic.